guys, welcome back. It is Vlogmas. You think I could do that every time? I'm gonna start singing. It's Vlogmas. Anyways, I'm so excited today because we are surprising the kids for another fun holiday activity in Charlotte. I swear, Charlotte has all the holiday stuff that it's like throwing up Christmas everywhere you go. Like everywhere you go, it's like lights and christmas trees and all the decorations in every shopping center and there's like events every freaking weekend and i'm just like wow like this is where i'm supposed to be although darius is a little tired of it he's acting like a little grinch but <laughs> i'm so excited today because i got invited to like a media night thing um for their light of nights festival so let me tell you a little bit about it since i'm new to the area so it's called light oh it's light the nights festival and it's at truest field which is where they do their um the baseball stuff baseball stuff with the baseball field so the whole baseball field turns into like a winter wonderland there's ice skating there's snow tubing and i'm really looking forward to that snow tubing because i know the kids are gonna have so much fun like going down the little snow tube like it's gonna be fun it is from november 27th to january 3rd so if you guys are watching this and you're in the area definitely go check it out i'm gonna show you all the things when we go when i pick them up from school so the tickets there are tickets but ages three and under are free they have food they have ice skating and hockey snow tubing holiday light show and they have a christmas market as well so the snow tubing is a 10 lane 150 foot snow tubing hill i really looking forward to ice skating too but i'm trying to figure out like the logistics of it because you know we do have zen like she can't be ice skating she's too little for that so i have i used to love ice skating when i was in high school we used to go to new rock city i don't know if you guys are from new york but new rock city and new rochelle we used to ice skate all the time is new rock city still there i don't know i didn't look that up i had a lot of good memories there it's really fun anyways so once we pick up the kids we're gonna go head straight there so yeah so far the kids only know that there's gonna be ice skating there but i said there was another surprise so i know when they see like the nice ice the snow tubing stuff i know they're gonna get excited because it's like a big slide but i kind of see Mackenzie being scared because she's scared of a lot of things but we'll see so stay tuned and we're gonna have so much fun today
are finally home. All the kids are bathed in bed, sleeping. I finally took a shower and another exhausting day. Light the nights is definitely a must have. Like you definitely have to go there this holiday season. I believe there are two different types of tickets that you can buy. I think there's a general admission one that you can just walk around and it doesn't include the snow tube and it doesn't include the ice skating but just walking around the whole baseball um stadium like you know where the concession stands are like that's where all the christmas trees all the lights all the blow-ups like it was really really cool to just walk around there that we saw santa so they have pictures with santa and then they also have like the holiday markets that people are selling their little small business stuff like that like uh, croc charms they had like custom jewelry they had donuts there's so many different markets that you can see and shop and support their business and then they have the other ticket that you can you know walk around plus do the ice skating and the snow tubing i have to say the snow tubing was probably the best like that was everyone's favorite thing to do i love that zen was able to go on there like at first i was like uh-uh she ain't going on there but i saw other little kids um their parents were holding their baby so i was just like okay you know but that thing goes down it, it was so fast i was like kind of scared but once i went down then i got a little comfortable then that's when i started getting some clips of us going down but the kids went down probably like at least 10 times or less they probably went down like seven eight times but darius went down was in i went down again so that was really fun and then the ice skating i have been ice skating since i was in high school and you know i i couldn't like I skate by myself because I need to make sure that the kids were fine. Darius was out with Zen because obviously Zen can't ice skate. I do have to say one negative thing about this was there was no like, you know, like for kids for ice skating to like hold on to like the bar, you know, as they ice skate. They didn't have that at, at all. And I thought that was like kind of inconvenient, you know, especially for the kids that like don't know how to ice skate. So the whole time we were just, you know, the kids were just holding on to the edge. And that was their first time ever ice skating. So I was like kind of scared because I'm like, oh my gosh, I don't want to fall and you know slice their hands or whatever and that's like always my biggest fear with ice skating like you could just slice your hands like oh my gosh you lost a finger i don't know I have, that's my anxiety with ice skating but you know i couldn't really like ice skate as i wanted to because i wanted to make sure cruz was okay like kenzie was you know still walking fine towards the edge but cruz was losing his balance a little bit and he was getting frustrated because he wanted to let go but he was scared so it was just that part wasn't too enjoyable but eventually we had to get off the ice rink because they had to like clean the ice and stuff like that and i told them like once they clean the ice that's when it gets extra slippery and i'm just like this is not the time to be going back in there i'm like let's just just that's it we're done now let's talk about the food the food was really good um they had like chicken on a stick that's what kenzie got so chicken tenders were really good and they had like this thanksgiving i forgot it was called like thanks miss thanks miss fries i believe it was called that was surprisingly really good it was sweet potato fries with like maple i don't think it was maple syrup it was maple something and it was like marshmallows and like sprinkles so it was given like supposed to be probably like yams but it was sweet potato fries and that was actually really good so i would recommend to get that and then they had a chicken and waffle in a waffle cone I was picturing like the chicken tenders inside a waffle cone and maybe like some maple drizzle, you know, because that's what it sounds like, you know, chicken and waffles. So I was thinking like maple, like just syrup on the chicken with the waffle cone. But that chicken was so spicy and it was given like buffalo and it was just weird to me because I'm like, why is there buffalo sauce type chicken with a waffle cone and it was like it had a, a hint of sweetness but i mean it wasn't really my favorite but if you like spicy stuff then go ahead and get that but i don't really like spicy stuff so but overall like i said i would definitely recommend going there if you're in the charlotte area go there for the holiday season um like i said it'll go until i believe january so check it out that is the end of this vlogmas video so give this video a thumbs up comment down below subscribe and i'll see you guys tomorrow because we're doing this vlogmas thing 25 videos 25 days yeah
and follow my Instagram at, at Ash Justine.